March 10th, pastor is saying to us, have nothing of Satan in you. Our opening scripture comes to the book of John chapter 14, verse 30. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. It's very easy for Satan to use people in whom he's deposited something of himself. For example, selfishness or greed. Anyone who is selfish isn't walking in the love of God. Love rules over selfishness. God's love is gracious. Selfishness in the heart is an invitation to satanic influence, for Satan is the author of selfishness. This is why you must excuse selfishness and greed, and other traits that are consistent with Satan's nature. Don't allow Satan to have any of his traits in you, Jesus said. The prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me, John chapter 14, verse 30. Satan had nothing in Jesus. There was nothing Satan could lay claims to or which he could influence in Jesus. That's the way it should be with you. Satan should find nothing in you that attracts him to you or that he can use to promote his agenda. It's the reason you must walk in love at all times. Love is the antidote for selfishness and greed. Then also, speak the truth always. Proverbs chapter 6 verses 16 to 19 highlights traits that are consistent with Satan's nature that you must excuse. It says, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. The Bible says, Give no place to the devil. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27. Don't permit or give vent to any of his traits in your life. Walk in God's light, his word, and everything of Satan and darkness will be repelled from you. Please say this confession with me. The prince of this world has nothing in me. The word of God that gave birth to me is perfect and incorruptible. Therefore, nothing of darkness is in me. I have the light of life. There is nothing in my life that produces darkness. In all I do, my motives are right and void of selfishness. And the love of God is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Spirit. Amen. For further study, please read Colossians chapter 5, verse 16, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8 of the Amplified Classic, and James chapter 4, verse 7. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 14, verses 27 to 52, and Numbers chapters 27 to 28. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to 46, and Exodus chapter 19. Of reality.